In the globally competitive automotive manufacturing business, how does Daimler Chrysler, one of the industry's leaders, manage its customer data to achieve its core strategic initiatives? Customer-focused innovation, increasing overall efficiency and flexibility, and the acceleration of its already fervent pace in building exciting new products. This presentation is a study of the evolution underway today at the Daimler Chrysler Corporation an organization wholly committed to boldly addressing the current needs and aspirational passions of today's automotive customers. At the epicenter of Daimler Chrysler's quality revolution, Jerry Schultz and James Williams are engaged in resolving the tactical and strategic challenges of managing the organization's central customer data warehouse. Well, one, one of the things that we, we found out, and I, I think a lot of companies face the same problem, is, is we had customer databases around the corporation that satisfied specific needs. We had a special database just for recall. We had another one for marketing. We had another one for service. And uh, we took these disparate databases and consolidated them into one. What has evolved is that Chrysler has developed this thing they call the COIN system. It's Customer Operations Information Network. And it's basically a 360 degree view so that they can manage all the touch points of a customer. Well, I'm the senior systems analyst on COIN. I've been at Chrysler for 20 years. We found that we were spending a huge amount of our time reconciling the data differences. And uh, since then, we migrated to a replication model where we said, we're the point of truth. You'll send transactions to us. We'll replicate any accepted changes to you, and your data will be an exact carbon copy of what we have. That's been a huge success for us. Customer data is not a part number. It's not a, a piece. It's uh, always changing, always evolving. Um, and so trying to take a, a person over time and say that, you know, Jimmy Smith and James Smith are the same person, um, maybe they are, maybe they aren't. Um, so so that, that challenge uh, cropped in. And taking these uh, disparate databases and trying to consolidate them into one, we were, we were uh, saddled with that problem. How, how do you know if this is the same person or not? How do you, what do you keep, what do you throw away? And if you really spend any time around the folks at Chrysler, uh, the focus is so much more on enhancing quality across the board. And that really is true with the 360 degree view that they strive for with the coin system. And it's exciting because we're playing a very big role in enhancing the quality and the accuracy of the information that's in there, whether it's customer related data or how they touch uh, the dealers or other aspects within Daimler Chrysler. Sometimes you have to coax people, you have to sell them on the idea that if you come to us, we'll make it better for you. And so you reach out to them, you try to provide those services that make it easy for them to do that. And then you wind up with the payoff, which is a single point of truth database where you've got all your customer data. The emphasis on quality improvement at Daimler Chrysler can be seen not only in the end products, but also in the highly refined processes implemented to achieve the firm's 98% data quality levels. A key factor in this virtually unparalleled precision and reliability, an unwavering commitment to continuous measurement. I think probably one of the best tips you could give somebody is to say, you ought to have multiple yardsticks available. You don't want to have your data so single sourced or so automated that you don't know what's happening to it if you're bringing all your data in from one source like state registrations and you aren't paying attention, there's a bug in that system feeding you data, you can wind up with a huge problem before you know it. You need to be constantly measuring your data against other reference points so that you have an idea where your true data quality is. If you've got your customer data in seven or eight different places and each one's getting measured a different way, how do you compare them? It's apples and oranges. Uh, one of the things that, that putting all of the customer data into a single point of truth has done for us is we can now put together a measure how effective was this campaign how many cars did we sell to this household you know this household that was in this campaign did they buy a car they approximate 50 million records in that database so you can imagine the impact if you have a couple extra percentage points of bad addresses or returns we know how much mail is getting delivered um, and we've been able to reduce the, the waste to mailing to people that don't have the vehicle anymore, mailing to people that don't live there anymore. Um, that, that accuracy in our database actually lets us communicate more efficiently because we're getting mail to more people. 
With on-demand reliable customer data at their disposal, the Daimler Chrysler marketing team has been able to learn a great deal about life stage purchasing preferences and has been able to leverage this information into timely, informative campaigns targeted to receptive audiences. If I'm able to present an offer to somebody when they go through one of these events, they just bought a house, they just had a child, if I know what offer to present at that point in time in their life, that that is delivering the right message at the right time. I recently received a technical brochure on the 300 and as a uh, Chrysler leasee I was very interested in that and that shows that there was some uh, obviously some very detailed data that they were able to pinpoint that I would be a good prospect for that vehicle. So that's just an example of the kind of pinpoint marketing that Chrysler's been able to execute uh, through the coin system and through the organization that does a lot of their marketing, uh, BBDO. We just uh, did a campaign called Premier Night where we uh, set up a, a campaign and, and we brought customers in in a Hollywood style uh, environment to uh, display our products. And uh, one of the things we're finding is that the, the quality of information that we're providing to the dealers um, far surpasses the, the, the lists that we dealt with in the past. Quality and, and the overall excitement of and the culture at Daimler Chrysler is is really incredible. Once you put this customer data into data uh, database, there's going to be an exponential curve, the, the hockey stick effect, that's going to take place. Uh, people are going to demand your information, and you're going to find increasing uses of that information. Oh, absolutely. That's been our vision all along, was to put the data in the hands of the business so that they can use it and manipulate it without having to come to an ivory tower to ask for data or ask for a report. And that's been one of the big successes of COIN. I think this was uh, something we knew we needed, uh, but we didn't know um, uh, how important and how effective it would be. We've got what I think is the better mousetrap. We've got the world beating a path to our door, wanting our services, wanting our data. Um, we're just finishing up launching an uh, e-integration project, which allows us to put a web services architecture out there and provide on-demand services, which we're going to call e-demand, let's say to uh, partner corporations who are working with us trading data and to our own internal systems that are putting out customer facing applications on the web. 2004 has been a remarkable year in the resurgence of the Chrysler brands. Year over year sales increased 28% in April. Jeep Wrangler enjoyed its best April sales in its long history, up 55% versus last year. And this May, the newest 300 more than tripled its predecessor's launch sales, leading the Chrysler brand to its highest monthly sales total in history. Consumers are more and more educated. They're, they're coming into the dealerships knowing more and more about our vehicles. Um, this is good. We want to help that process. We want to help facilitate that process so that when the customer does arrive at the dealership, there, there's a marriage between what they know, what the dealer knows, and that, that we can uh, help that dialogue. If we're selling cars and we're making money, um, this is good. And if I can help drive those numbers up, uh, that's what the game's all about. Group One's been with us pretty much from the inception, and, and we've grown with the Group One tools as they've offered us more. As a car guy whose first new car was a Charger RT way, way many moons ago, uh, it's very exciting to work with the folks at Daimler Chrysler, and not only professionally from a Group One standpoint, where our data quality is able to be uh, basically positioned all through the way they operate, but just to experience uh, the end result of that with a su successful launch like you have with the 300 and the Magnum. On behalf of Charles Peel, the entire Group One software team, Daimler Chrysler's Dave Wallenberg, Jerry Schultz, Soraya DeSante, and James Williams, I'm Todd Schwartzrock. Thank you for joining us for this in-depth look at one of the world's great companies, the Daimler Chrysler Corporation.